Hi guys, today I have another update for my 365 days of samples. So at last update, I had seven products total in my rotation and after two weeks of use, I was only able to finish two samples. So it wasn't that great and I still have five left in my rotation. For that reason, I wouldn't draw any more products this time and I will just update you guys where I am at with the products I am using currently. So let me show you guys the two products I have finished first. So the first product I have finished here is a hair conditioner. This is from Clear and this is their Total Care line. So this sample size lasted me, I think it was three uses. I can't remember exactly, but I liked it. I used to purchase this a lot and then I got sidetracked because there were a lot more, you know, um, newer products and I didn't go back to this guy. But I remember really liking it and then trying this another time, I still really like it. Then I have a body wash. This one is from Attitude. And this guy is actually a two-in-one shampoo and body wash, but I used it as body wash anyways. Actually, it was surprising this little sample pack lasted me two showers. And the scent of it was quite nice. It was definitely on the natural side. And the only complaint I have is that it didn't give as much bubbles as I would like to but um, I think it's still a very good sh uh, body wash. And then let me show you the five products I didn't finish yet. So the first one is from Clorain. This is their dry shampoo. It's just a small size and I've used it, I think maybe two or three times. And I think there's probably only one use left now. So I should be able to finish this fairly quickly. And then I have a mascara from Lorac. This is their Cobra mascara and the brush head looks like a cobra, so it's kind of cool. I, I like it, but I don't think it's the best mascara out there. And it doesn't, it's on the drier side. I'm not sure if it's because it's a little old or is it because it naturally is just drier but I don't think it gives me the best results on my lashes anyways and the brush because of the weird shape of the bristle, I don't think I could apply it out of pressure onto my lashes. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I feel there's not enough product that is getting onto my lashes, if that makes sense, any sense. <laughs> then I have a face primer from Lorac. This is their Porefection Mattifying Face Primer. So as you can see, it's a really small size and I have used about half of it. It wasn't like completely full. It was brand new, but I don't think the product was packed full. So I think I've used about half and I should be able to finish this pretty quickly. And last time I said this feels very much like the Maybelline baby skin, but after using it for a little while, I think I preferred this over the Maybelline baby skin because this one is a little bit more moisturizing, I think. Then I have a face mask. This one is from Michael Todd. It is their pumpkin mask. And as you can see, I have used about a third of it. I probably have used it like three or four times. I really like this mask and I know some people don't like it. Be I, I could see why because um, it's a little irritating on the skin when you're using it irritating. I don't know what it is. It kind of stings my face when I use it. So I wouldn't leave it on my face for too long. And also when I rinse it off, it doesn't rinse too clean. A lot of times I have to use a little scrubber or cognac sponge or something, or otherwise I would definitely still pick up the yellow color with my um, cut and pad when I apply toner. But, um, I think it gives really good results for some reason, especially if I have bad breakouts, like I have one really big one right here. And if I use this, it would definitely take off some of the like plumpness. Um, I don't know, I get those like really big acne that are really like swollen and big at times. And this definitely makes them smaller and less intense. So for that reason, I really like this mask. 
And the last product I have here is an eye makeup remover. This is from Chlorine. And then it's just called Floral Eye Makeup Remover. Looks like this. And it's a liquid inside. It's not one of those two faced ones. But um, this is how much I have used. I probably have just passed the halfway line. And as you can see, it has lasted me a long time. It's been two, four, six weeks. And I probably have like two more weeks to go. And I really like this product. I would definitely consider repurchasing it. So that's it. That's my quick update for my 365 days of sample. I didn't do too great in the past two weeks, only finished two products, but I kind of expected it to happen because I, I knew I had some harder products. Like I knew this will take longer. The face mask, mascara, face primer, those are all like products that will last kind of long anyways. So hopefully I could finish a couple more by the time next update comes and I can pick more products. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.